Lair of Romulus. So, this is an eight minute one, so okay. it's a timed one, but the annoying part- 100%, you have to get it under eight minutes is what you're saying. Yeah, for the 100% sync. Right, cinch. You remember this one where you have to tail this guy? Oh, is this one where you're like walking into the middle of the, the mm. Vatican or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> so it's- They have all their funny hats on. Yeah. It's pretty annoying because it's eight minutes, but you just have to wait for this guy to walk around. Slowly. Like there's no speeding it up. There's no shortcut for this part. No. What happens if you get caught early on? Does that screw with your overall time? It starts you over. But so you can still get it. I don't knew. I yeah, yeah. Because it starts you all the way over. Okay. So it starts your time over. Cool. Good to know. So you're just blending in. And you have to stay pretty close to him, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, the dude? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It's saying reduced distance to target, but he's kind of walking towards you right now, actually. He is. And I've done this several times, so I know where his path is. I love how you're blending in in this huge crowd, or like in this crowd of everybody that's dressed identically. And I, mean, I look like... And you look like an assassin, ready to kill somebody with knives. and A Raiden assassin. A Raiden. Oh, I didn't notice that. Nice. Yes. I was actually watching a couple of Metal Gear Solid videos, like, yesterday. Yeah, that, that is weird. Weird. Weird Japanese weird stuff. wild stuff. Um, because the Metal Gear Solid videos on our site were broken, so I was going through and like making the spreadsheet of all the titles and all that mm -hmm. to make sure that it was all working. And hopefully it'll be working soon. That's a, it has a really big name game that doesn't have a sequel yet. Metal Gear Solid 4? Yeah. Perhaps not. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, it's old. It's old? Yeah. Kind of like two years ago. Right. Usually games come out like every year. You mean like Zelda? No, I mean, like, Call of Duty. <laughs> well, okay. Honestly. And Assassin's Creed. Honestly? This game, this I'm, is two years in a row. I'm totally okay with them not releasing a new Metal Gear game every... Um, two years? Every year, like Call of Duty games. Because Call of Duty games, they're getting forgettable. Completely forgettable. And I remember a lot of moments from all the Metal Gears that I've played. I haven't played three. You but will not get me. one, two, and four, there are a lot of really cool moments in that in those games. Yeah. And I, when I think about uh, Call of Duty, uh, World at War, and then Modern Warfare Two, and um, and now what's the one that just came out, Black Ops? Mm -hmm. Like, there's very little that I'm gonna remember about the single players in those games. Like, who cares? Well, yeah, I mean, that's the difference <laughs> then, between Call of Duty and Metal Gear Solid. And I guarantee in a, a <laughs> Metal Gear, Gear Solid has a story, Call of Duty did not. And I guarantee in a year, when, like, you know, you're not actively making a guide for this game, you won't so, be able to distinguish in your mind between Assassin's Brotherhood Creed 2 and Brotherhood. No. Okay, so come out here. This is probably, this is a pretty tricky flag to get, Borgia flag. So you come out oh, in the yeah, rain, the uh, you can't, you can see it, you can't jump over there. You actually have to run up the wall, and then jump sideways, which you wouldn't know unless you did the VR missions. Oh. Like that run, jump sideways, Ooh, move. That's a So that one, you either have to have someone tell you or have done the VR missions. Oh, okay, then you edited it back. To know how to do that move. Yeah, so I, I picked up the flags in a different run than uh, the speed run. Okay. So I just kind of edit them in. Cool. But, um... Where were we? Complaining about games. You, you're saying how Call of Duty's unforgettable and Metal Gear Solid is memorable. But I would say that has nothing to do with the release dates. You don't think that no. more time to develop a game... Well, yes. That's my point. If you take more than two years to come out with a game, there's going to be a little bit more time yeah. invested in story. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm, I thought you were saying as the player... It'd be less memorable if you played one every year. Oh, no. Not that the quality is somehow related. No, if they released a game that was of Metal Gear Solid 4 quality every year, mm -hmm. then 
like the same, oh wow, that's fucking cool, like same breathtaking, same, same breathtaking moments, same innovation every year, then yeah, obviously, but that doesn't happen. Yeah, well. Because it takes a long ass time to make games, and now that, I mean, what, what do I remember about Brotherhood? Uh, I remember the very end cutscene. I remember uh, buying a lot. Like I, I remember the architecture of Rome mm -hmm. because that's was extremely well done. I remember um, using my assassins to kill people. Yeah, like those little sweet. hitmen and setting them off on missions and leveling them up. Um, I never played multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer is good. Yeah, I moved on. Um, but in terms of story, I don't remember a lot of the intricate points. Did you try the multiplayer one time? No. You should try it one time. Just because okay. it's so different. I don't have anything against it. I just I, There's so many good games I want to play. Like, I started playing Red Dead, and that's well, fucking awesome. Instead of collecting flowers in the desert, you should play a couple Dude, rounds I love, online. I never would have thought collecting flowers in a game could be so much fun, but it's goddamn fun in that game. I level up in my flower collecting ability. Yeah. I'm on level five right now. Wow. I'm a level... <laughs> I'm a posy. Yeah, well, you should put down your flowers and, and play a couple rounds of uh, Brotherhood online. <laughs> it's awesome. So here's the second Borgia flag, just around this corner. That one you're really not going to miss. Okay. The last one, uh, I could not find on my own. I had to look it up online. Hmm. There's so many good games right now. Yeah, there is. So many good games. Like, I have at least five unplayed games that I really want to play. Yeah. Like, right now, that have come out within the last year. Yeah. Or la last three, two years, I'd say. Three. Last three years, I can probably come up with a list of 20 games that I want to play. Play through, com play to completion. Not necessarily 100%, but... Beat it once. Beat it. Go through the story and, like, you know... No order waste time picking flowers like I do in every game. <laughs> like when I was playing Brotherhood, I like, I, I like, I do all the side quests. You're a completionist. Well, yes and no. Um, I, I didn't 100% this game. I didn't go back and replay any of the memory sequences to get 100%. Um, but I do all the side quests. Mm -hmm. And I spend all the money to make sure that I had Oh, so here's the last the best one. best income. Go to this thing. <clears throat> hang down. Oh, and a good way to like look for these Borgia flags is if you go to Eagle Vision, uh -huh. they glow. And then if you see them in Eagle Vision, they, they mark get marked on your, on your map. map. Wow. Yeah. So that was the final <clears throat> one. Yeah. I, I guess I'm a completionist. I, I just like to see all the little things, though. Like, I don't necessarily... Uh, like in Red Dead, they have all those stupid um, horse breaking mm -hmm. missions and I haven't done any of those well, I did one when, during the, the tutorial mm -hmm. and I'm like yeah fuck it that's boring I'm not yeah. going to do any more of those but leveling up my flower picking <laughs> hell yeah you're a weird dude you're a weird <laughs> dude well you're not the same way you don't like to get 100% no I do but but you I give up easier you, you finish the game <laughs> I care less like I want to do it but then I'm like nope yeah, I'll start to do it and then be like, no, mm. this is, I can't find the goddamn flower that's supposed to be in the Rio Bravo area. Fuck it. <laughs> that's when you go to the general store and buy the map that marks them on your yeah. screen for a while. All right, so that's that under eight minutes.